Hello, good afternoon. It is Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in my craft cave. I hope I'm on the Stampin' for Fun Facebook page. So I uh, was a little turned around because I keep thinking today is Monday uh, because we had up here in Canada, we had Canadian uh, Thanksgiving yesterday. So the normal routine was a bit out of whack, uh, but we had a wonderful day yesterday. Uh, actually, the whole weekend was wonderful. So those of you who are Canadian, make sure you can jump in and tell me what you did over Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, for me, on Saturday, we had some family over, um, and then we went to Kevin's parents for dinner as well. And Sunday was filled with different church activities. We had a wedding. And then Monday, yesterday, we um, uh, went down to the t downtown Toronto. And the funny story is, we hadn't actually planned to go downtown, but my son is back for reading week. And when he came up on Saturday, Sunday, he let us know he left his retainer downtown. And the orthodontist was very strict about the retainer and said that he has to wear it every night. And of course, you don't want to take any chances after you paid so much money for the orthodontic work. So we're like, okay, we'll drive you back down to get your retainer, but we may as well do some family activity down there. So we went to the museum, um, the Royal Ontario Museum downtown and went and got his retainer and then went out for dinner. So anyway, it uh, just felt like a, a weekend. And then I realized today's Tuesday, but I, I did know what I was going to do today. So I'm excited to share with you. Great. People are logging on. Hi, Mary. Hi, Maureen. Hi, Christine. I think we've got someone else there, but I can't see the comments. So anyway, for those of you joining in, uh, just always remember that I love to read your comments. I love to see them. And uh, anyone who comments will also be entered into a drawing. I wasn't able to find the winner for last week, but I'll do it after because last week I made that terrible mistake where I accidentally hit finish instead of flipping the camera over. So I'm going to check both videos last week and uh, pick a winner from there. Um, so this week's winner will be um, anybody who comments and I'll just draw a winner randomly. And even if you're watching the replay, if you're not watching it live, you can still comment and uh, be entered in the drawing because I usually do the drawing like a week after, so the following Tuesday at two. Okay, so that's the plan. Oh good, Christine was on a cruise in Georgian Bay, then had a turkey dinner. Oh, that sounds fantastic. That sounds like a great way to spend Thanksgiving. Um, Christine, I was thinking of you because I was looking into, you were saying there was something at St. Marie Among the Hurons for um, special lights or something over the holidays. So I'll have to look into that because I think you have to buy the tickets ahead of time. So I'm already planning Christmas already. We just had Thanksgiving. I'm already planning Christmas plans. Anyway, so I'm excited to uh, gather with you. Oh, I see many have got on. So that's great. Why don't we dive in? A uh, few announcements I want to make. Tomorrow is the very last day to register for my Christmas gleaming class. I've been mentioning it uh, the past few weeks and tomorrow is the deadline for registration. Um, I'll give you a quick sneak peek of the cards and of course, as things would have it, of course I uh, changed up um, one of the cards because if I design too early, that always happens. When it gets closer to the day, I'm like, why did I think I was going to do that? I don't like that card anymore. And then I design something else. So um, uh, that is the plan. Uh, tomorrow's the last day to register for that class. You actually get to make eight cards. It's an amazing value for only $41. You get to make the eight cards. You get all the embellishments, all the paper, everything you need. And uh, on top of that, you get the Christmas Gleaming stamp set included in your class fee for only $41. So it's a great, great value. If you can come live to the class, perfect. It's on October the 30th in Markham. If you cannot come live, you can definitely uh, get the Take It To Go version. There is an extra charge for me to mail it to you. Um, I think it's an extra $10 to kind of ship it direct to your door. Uh, but if you can pick it up from me, it's the same price of $41. So don't be um, afraid if you can't make it on October 30th in Markham, you can still order the Take It To Go. I mail everything to you and you just need your stamps. Uh, sorry, you get the stamp set, so you only need the ink to uh, complete the cards and your own adhesive. 
because I send all the embellishments, all the paper, the stamp set and everything. If you already have the Christmas Gleaming stamp set, I was gonna see if I had it on my table, but if you already have that stamp set, you can still register because you just substitute another stamp set of your choice and then you use your Christmas Gleaming stamp set for the class. Okay, so last chance to get in on that. Tomorrow is the last day to register. Okay, so I am going to uh, flip uh, the camera around so that you can see everything because uh, I have lots of things to show you. We know um, that the product of the month, if you've been tuning in with me every week, Tuesday at 2, the product of the month is the Snowman Season stamp set. Um, so I'm excited to share with you today's project using the Snowman Season stamp set. Um, so why don't we do that? But before we do that, I am going to flip it over because there are some new products coming. And as a demonstrator, I get to order them first. You can't order them yet. So I did kind of question whether I should show them to you, but I'm going to show it to you because you actually can order them if you are a demonstrator. And if you're not a demonstrator yet, you can become one. You don't have to sell product if you don't want to. You can just enjoy the discount. Um, but if you do want to sell product and run classes, you absolutely can. I would love to have you join my team. Team Stick is very active. I do lots of different special opportunities just for them. And uh, one of the special perks of being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is you get to order first. So if you like the products that I'm going to show you in a minute, uh, you can order them right now just by adding it to your starter kit let me know that you want to join my team because uh, we always have lots going on. I think we do have some team members on here, so you can always comment about what you enjoy about Team Stick so others can see. And let me flip the camera around and I will be extra careful not to make the mistake I made last week. I will just flip the camera and not hit finish, but ooh, a bit scary here. Okay, let's see if I can uh, do this correctly this time. Flip this over. Good, you're still with me. <laughs> Hopefully this will work out. Okay, there we go, guys. This flip always kind of stresses me out. Okay, here we go. It's great to have you joining in. Oh, hi, Karen. I'm glad you're here for the next installment of Tuesday at 2, where the product of the month is the Snowman Season stamp set. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see everything there. Okay, so this is our product of the month. I know some of you have been watching every week and you can't wait to see what project I'm going to do with this stamp set this week. Um, but before I dive into the, that, as I promised, I want to show you some new products that are going live November the 1st. So it is kind of a sneak peek, but don't forget, if you want it right now, you can get it right now just by joining my team. You can add these things to the starter kit. So Stampin' Up! is releasing an exclusive um, kind of suite just for the month of November. It's only while supplies last. It's called Christmas Rose. So you can see these gorgeous stamps related to that. Okay, so you can see how it's a two-step stamp. You've got this gorgeous rose and you've got the uh, filler which almost looks like it's like a distinctive stamp almost so that it'll look very realistic when you layer it on top. Oh, hi Gail, great to see you. Okay, so this can be used for Christmas. We've got all these Christmas sentiments, but I feel like a rose is so versatile it can be used in other ways as well. So this is coming down the pipe along with coordinating products like this gorgeous gold ribbon and these glittery gold enamel dots so there's definitely a beautiful gold theme going on um, there's some designer series paper that is going to coordinate with that suite let me open it up for you to see if you can see the gold elements in this paper okay can you see the gold rose in there but again the paper is double-sided just like we're used to um, so hopefully that inspires you for the suite that is to come. Oh, look at this one. This one's super gorgeous. Look at the gold foil embedded in that. Okay. And then we've got some, some pine cones. 
on the other side. Okay, so lots of beautiful things coming November the 1st. Get ready for that. Um, but again, there's no reason you can't order it right now just by getting the starter kit. I would love to have you join Team Stick. Um, uh, it's a great group, and I know that you would be more than welcomed into our group. Okay, the other, oh no, wait, there's one more thing related to that suite, which is something uh, I haven't seen Stampin' Up! do before, I don't think. It's something that's not paper crafting that's a part of this suite, but works really well as a gift. Look at the nice box. Okay, and it's a bracelet. So let me take it out so that you can see. And the bracelet has the beautiful rose that's related to this suite. The Christmas Rose. What do you guys think of that bracelet? Don't be afraid to comment because don't forget when you comment I know that you're there and I can uh, answer you right away. There's also a little charm, Stampin' Up! charm. Okay so all these things are now available uh, if you want to get the starter kit or if you're already a demonstrator. Uh, otherwise they'll be available November 1st for you but only while supplies last. Doesn't that make a fun gift? Okay, so that is that for that suite. Uh, yeah, don't be afraid to comment because remember you'll be entered into a drawing and that way I know you're here and I can answer any questions you have. Okay, so I want to show you that because that is coming and on the way. Let me move this out of the way. So that's the Christmas Rose Suite. Lots of beautiful things there. I know it is a pretty bracelet, very pretty. Okay. Um, Okay, the other thing I want to show you that's coming November 1st, some of you may have been waiting. Here it is. It is the new trimmer. Okay, and again, if you're a demonstrator or if you want to become a demonstrator, uh, you can get this right away. So probably most of you watching this video already have a paper trimmer, but if you don't or if you're dissatisfied with the paper trimmer you have, uh, this is this is available coming out. So this is the new Stampin' Up! trimmer. Um, I believe they discontinued the other one because there was an issue about the quality of the blades or uh, the availability of the blades. So um, while they had the chance to to get that sorted out, they of course did some improvements, which I want to show you about. So one of the improvements is this arm here on the left that you can just, uh, it, it clicks into here, but you can just open it up. Okay, I have opened it up. This, yeah, here we go. So we'll just open it up. One uh, improvement I've noticed is this arm is now much longer. It actually goes to 17 inches. So if you have any extra long uh, sheets of paper that you need to cut, this trimmer will do it for you. The other improvement that I have noticed is uh, I'm gonna just show you here. Oh, let me slide that in. The other thing I've noticed is there used to be a locking mechanism at the top here, which no one remembered to lock. Uh, there's no locking mechanism. There, it's actually built in. So when you lift it up, um, I don't know if you can see at the top here, there's actually a little, little button. So this locks in just when you push it when you push it, it locks right in so it doesn't flap around when you're taking it places. As well, uh, there's no mat in here that was in there before, so you don't have to worry about anything falling out. I'm going to give you a close-up. I'm wondering if you guys can see the blade. I think it is a bit hard for you to see, but it is a bigger blade than was there before. It's right here, the blade. Okay. So it is, uh, it is definitely bigger there. Okay. And then this, there's a little groove here so that you can easily stick in your scoring tool. Um, okay, I've never had it come out before. Of course, it's gonna, because right here, I just noticed that there is a little groove where it fits in and slides in. Okay, so there we go. We can just pop it back in. So uh, the replacement blades uh, will easily come in and out, but hopefully you won't have to replace it too frequently because now they've they've got it sorted out with the blades. So I've been using it all day today. No problems. No problems with the cut at all. Smooth like butter. 
Okay, so that's our new trimmer. Okay, guys, uh, let's dive into the project today using the Snowman Season stamp set. And just a reminder, uh, I do have an online ordering special going on. So when you place your order at Genevieve.stampinup.net, just click the Shop Now button and uh, use this host code. Any order on my online store will get you the tutorials for all five projects that I will be doing in the month of October um, using the um, product of the month, the snowman season. So if you joined in, let me get the, let me see, let me get the cards that we did the past two weeks. So if you remember the first week we did this card. So now if your order is over $50 or more, you will actually get the make and take supplies mailed to you so that you can do them at home. So this was the first week of October using our cute snowman guy. And then this was the one we did last week. Okay, sort of the Z fold flip card there. Okay, you'll get all the pieces, everything will be pre cut for you. And so let's dive in into what we are going to do this week. So I'm going to use the real red cardstock. And uh, this is cut at the regular um, eight and a half by five and a half, folded in half at four and a quarter. And then here we've got another layer of real red piece that we are cutting at four inches by five and a quarter. And I am going to use a brand new embossing folder called the Winter Knit 3D Embossing Folder. I'm going to emboss this piece right now. And the reason I didn't pre-emboss it is because I wanted to show you this new embossing folder. And I also wanted to give you a tip about embossing with our 3D embossing folders. Okay, so let me get this set up. We're going to use our die cutting machine. So Stampin' Up! has announced that they are coming out with a new die cutting machine sometime in 2020. So we can await that to arrive. Um, and so the plates we're going to use is we are going to use the platform. Okay, and then we're going to open up our embossing folder here. This is the winter knit. It has a very nice comfy sort of feel to it so when you see this embossing folder you're going to feel warm and cozy like you are wearing a winter knit can you see the design there and i'll just stick my paper in okay and i notice on the front they now have a line here so this actually helps me make sure that it's nice and straight okay so I like to line it up with this line, okay, to uh, help us. I don't, just trying to decide which way I want it to go. I actually think I want it to go this way. So forget about that line idea. I think I'm going to go this way. Okay, and then here's the tip that I want to share with you. Um, when Stampin' Up! is getting ready, they're getting ready for their new uh, die cutting and embossing machine. Their new folders and their new dies are already kind of prepared for the new machine. So if you have a big shot, what you need is this blue plate. Okay, very important, this blue plate, um, because it just is the perfect thickness to help us use our new 3D embossing folders, okay? Because I don't want you to... To crack or break them by using the wrong thickness of sandwich. Okay, so there we go. There you go. Can you see that beautiful embossed design? I love embossing. Every time I do it, I feel like, ta-da! It's like magic. Okay, let's get these things out of the way, and then we will continue our project. Let me move this out of the way for you guys. Okay, so we've Got that. Are you guys excited to see what we're going to create? Okay. And then we're going to use um, just a little strip of the, this is the Let It Snow DSP. Okay, so I've already pre-cut it at three quarters inches and this is four inches. Okay, so what we'll do is I will adhere that on I always think I have everything prepared and then I'm like, where's my snail? Okay, let me get my snail out and we 
I'll stuff that down. Oh, let's make sure our hearts are not upside down. This actually does have a top and a bottom. Yep. Yep, we're okay. Nothing, nothing sadder than having hearts upside down. Okay. Okay, and then let's stamp our snowman. I'll put this to the side. Let's grab our snowman. And if you had tuned in last week, you would know that I was eagerly waiting for my snowman punch, which finally arrived. There's nothing worse than just waiting and waiting for something to show up and then makes it feel like it takes even longer. So here's our little snowman. We're gonna use the Memento Black ink. Okay, if you're just tuning in, don't be shy. Jump in and say hello because you'll be entered into a drawing um, just for commenting. Okay, so here's our little snowman. We've got them all set. There we go. Okay, and then here's our snowman punch. So this is actually called the snowman builder punch because there's all these different things and we're actually gonna use every piece of it. So today I wanted to make sure I was showing you how this punch is because when you order the stamp set and the punch together, you actually save 10%. So it is smart to do it. Although if you watched my episode last week, you'll know that I did not do that and therefore had great regret. Okay, so let's stamp our snowman out and then we're going to use the builder function and we are going to uh, do the hat in black. So I'm just building all my pieces here. Here's the little hat. See, there's a cute little hat that goes with it. Perfect. And whenever you're using a builder punch, this is a tip here, guys. Let me get rid of that. Um, don't just keep punching, punching, punching like this. After you've punched, turn it over and do a squeeze so that these extra pieces fall out because if you don't get these pieces out the next thing you're going to punch it could get jammed up inside so i don't know whether you knew that tip but that's why i do these videos so that you can learn the little tips okay so we've got his hat uh, there's even a little carrot nose here so we're going to get some of the of course the tried and true pumpkin pie cardstock and we're going to use that for the nose. Okay, have you guys heard of that tip before when using builder punches? Is that yes, go ahead and punch it while it's upside down like this. Okay, but make sure, oh, I don't know if his nose quite came out there. There it is. Okay, what you're going to do is you're still going to make sure that you turn it this way and give it a little squeeze to get any last bits out. Okay, so we've got his little nose. Why don't we glue that on now before I lose that piece? Because I can just see myself losing that little piece. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I am going to attach on my um, tacky end to my, um, I don't remember what this is called, let it pick or let pick tool or something. It's so tiny. You're right, Judy. It's so tiny. So that's why I'm using my, my, yeah, uh, little tacky end here to just kind of pick it up. Okay. So it's just got like a little sticky tacky end here. Um, and then that way I can apply my little bit of glue. Yeah, I'm using the fine tip glue pen. It's so tiny, that little nose. I know I'm going to lose it, so just let me put a drop of the fine tip glue there. And then I can just put that down. Okay. So when it's so tiny, I find it helps a lot to just kind of have the... Uh, I can't even remember. I think it's just called the let it pick tool or I can't remember what it's called. If you guys remember what it's called, but it's a great tool. There's a adapter with the brush to kind of use for the, you know, when you've die cut and there's all those little pieces. So, but when you're not using that, then you can have the other piece. Um, there's this sort of pokey tool, paper piercing tool, um, but it's double sided. So if you don't want the paper piercing tool side, there's actually a palette side on here that you kind of lock into place. But anyway, I use the piercing tool side much more. So we'll just keep that on there, but you must put the lid on so you don't poke yourself. Okay. So we've got our little, 
Okay, and then we need, what does the snowman need? He needs some arms. So let me punch out those arms. And then hopefully I won't lose any of the pieces. There we go. Okay, so here's our little arms and we'll flip it over and get that out of the way. Okay, um, we can actually glue on his arms now if we want. Okay, so again, the fine tip glue is perfect for here because it's so tiny. Okay, I do find that the fine tip glue is, you do kind of have to hold it in place a little bit until it dries. But then once it's on there, it's on there, so we're good. Okay, so I know the previous two weeks I didn't uh, show you the Snowman Builder Punch, but it is such like it goes along with the same suite. It obviously goes with the stamp set, which is our product of the month this week. Uh, sorry, this month. Okay, so there we go. There's our little snowman with his little arms. Why don't we put his little hat on? We could also use glue dots. Glue dots are also great, great little things here. Okay, take your pick. Yes, thank you, Tracy. I kept calling it the let it pick. Okay, so yes, the take your pick tool. Thank you. See, that's why it's great to be on here live because then you can give me all the terminology. Okay, fellow, here's your cute little hat. And you could dress it up as much as you want. I actually even, this uh, card that we're doing is actually inspired by a swap card that I received but I don't know who made it. I feel like it might be Lisa Altman, but of course I could be wrong. Um, so I apologize if this is your swap card, make sure to let me know. Okay, so this is just a tiny, tiny half inch piece of our new red glimmer paper. Okay, so we'll stick that on. So this is all very tiny work we're doing here today. So that's why the take your pick tool is so helpful. The fine tip glue pen, really helpful. But sometimes these little fiddly things are what make the project a little bit extra special, right? <laughs> so I'm, again, just using the red glimmer paper here to just put a little brim on the hat. Okay, and then now to continue with our card, so Mr. Snowman, we're just going to put you off to the side there. And I have a piece of the Coastal Cabana cardstock. And it is two inches by two and three quarter inches. Two inches by two and three quarter inches. And I am going to use, oh dear. Okay, hang on a minute guys. I'm still here, but the stamp set I want is not here. Okay, hang on a minute. Maybe it's in here. I just saw it this morning. Anyway, we'll continue the card. Here, I'll give you something to look at while I'm looking for that stamp set. Is that cute little journal here. Let me just see. Here it is. Okay. Okay, so that this was like a this was like a commercial break while I went to find that stamp set, which I thought I had right next to me. Um, I'm actually using this tiny keepsake stamp set, but I'll come back to this journal because uh, this also uses our, our product of the month this month. Okay, so here's our tiny keepsake stamp set. I'm gonna use this kind of checkered pattern here. And let's get that out. Oh, oh, did I, have I ever taught you guys how I uh, put the backing on? This is a great chance to show you guys. Okay, so if you've never mounted uh, the stickers onto the stamps, our new cling stamps are fantastic. I'm going to show you how I do it. I learned this from my team member, Lorraine. I'm pretty sure it's Lorraine that taught me. Okay, so I actually only remove half of it right now. And then um, you can kind of line it up there the best you can. Okay, and this way, even if you don't line it up perfectly, there is room for adjustment because you didn't stick the whole thing on right away. See, so if I made a mistake and I didn't stick it on the way I wanted, I could actually pull it off very carefully and readjust. But I did a pretty good job here, so now I can just peel off the backing off this one and get that on there. Okay, so this has a really tacky sort of 
feel. We'll just pop that on our block. Okay, and then we're going to use the Coastal Cabana ink to ink up our little Coastal Cabana square here. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. It's gotten all quiet. I don't know. You're all watching intently. Okay, so with the larger stamps, I do ink it up this way. Make sure I've got a full, full inking there. And then I can just ink that up to give it a bit of a checkered background. Okay. There you go. Can you see that? It just gives extra dimension to the card. And then I'm going to mount it on the real red glimmer paper. I know. I was just thinking that I need to put the cat back on my glue, Judy. I was just thinking that. That's another tip you should know, that with the fine tip glue, if you don't put the cap on right away, it dries up and it's hard to get that little needle back in. So I was just thinking, I was looking at it and saying, oh, I should put that back in. And uh, what you're trying to do, I hope I didn't let it sit too long. It will go back in. You just have to make sure that, that hole is open and you can get your needle back in and that keeps the fine tip from clogging up. Okay, I'm going to close this because knowing me, I'll stick my elbow right into it. Okay, so let's finish up our card here. We've got this and this, and then we can put this over here. I'm going to put Mr. Snowman on top. I'm going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals to just pop him up a little bit. Okay, so our little fellow here. I know we had asked about names. Someone had a name for him. Reynold? Ronald? No. I can't remember. Lindsay had come up with a name for him. He does need a name because he's so cute. Okay, there we go. And then uh, we can even pop that up again if we want to. Okay, so you see how the red glimmer paper really jazzes it up a bit? It's kind of fun. Okay, so let's get this down. Okay, and then uh, if we want to, we can use another stamp in the stamp set. Um, you know, we could even uh, put some snow, something like that, if we wanted to. This little snowflake is so versatile. We could use this little snow. Um, or actually, in the tiny keepsakes ones, there's another snowflake. Let's use that snowflake, actually. So I kind of got, uh, let's use this little snowflake here. Okay, and we'll pop this on. Okay, and then I'm going to just stick with our Coastal Cabana theme there, and I'm going to use the Coastal Cabana ink. And I know Coastal Cabana isn't really... <laughs> Oh, no, I remember, Judy. It's Rupert. Rupert. It's now coming to me. <laughs> Lindsay said we should name our snowman Rupert. I remember that. I can't remember what day she told us, whether it was week one or week two. Okay, so look at that. That's a cute little snowflake just to add a little bit of interest. And uh, let's see whether our one-inch circle punch will pop that out perfectly here. Rupert. Yes, it wasn't Robert. I just remember it was a different name. Okay, <laughs> but we can just add the little snowflake as a little element here on the side just to add a little interest and remind us about winter coming. There we go. Okay, great, 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 great. Okay, so that's our little friend. That's our little project for today. Okay. And there we go. If we wanted to, we could even put a little bit of uh, um, a little bit of our uh, Whisper White uh, Baker's Twine. It's always fun to add a little embellishment. Let's see whether I've got him. Yeah, here we go. We can just and uh, I just do two little two little uh, bunny ears, tie a knot. And then we kind of adjust. Since it's a small little element, we'll just 
I know. See, it wasn't my first choice either, but then when I saw all the ideas on Pinterest and then I started playing with him myself, I was like, of course I need to have the set. But I made the mistake. I did not buy the set and the punch together, which I have to say was a très grand mistake. Okay, so uh, if you buy this set, I would strongly suggest that you get the snowman builder punch at the same time. Yeah, Judy's saying she's starting to like this set. Yeah. Okay, so then we'll just use a little glue dot to attach that. Okay. Ta-da! Okay, a little bit of bling here and there. Did I stick that down? Yeah, I did. Okay, so there is our project today. So don't forget that when you place an order on my online store, you'll get all the measurements, you'll get the tutorials for these projects, as long as your order is $25. Uh, sorry, as long as any size order will get you the tutorials for free. Just remember to use the host code. You can head to my website, genevieve.stampinup.net. And, uh, oh, thanks, Karen. I'm glad you think it's cute. Um, so we've now done three weeks uh, using this product of the month. So you know already that you'll get the tutorials. I mean, you'll get all five tutorials, any size order you want to place on my online store using this host code. But if your order is $50 or more, you will not only get the tutorials, you will also get the make and take pieces. I will mail them to you for free. So it is a class, free class in the mail um, using the Snowman Season stamp set. I'll send you the cards stock, the embellishments, everything, and the tutorials. Just remember to uh, shop on my online store, genevieve.stampinup.net. Hit the shop now button and on the shopping cart page you can put in this host code so that to make sure you get the October online ordering special freebies. Okay, so uh, make sure to tune in next week because we will do another project using our product of the month, the snowman season, super cute. And then just as, a, just as another idea, um, using the snowman season stamp set, here is a little decorated journal that I made. And there is that winter embossing folder again, the um, winter knit embossing folder. You can see it being used right here. This color is Flirty Flamingo, and there's Rupert looking, <laughs> Rupert, our snowman, looking super happy. Um, and then uh, there's our Let It Snow designer series paper. Okay, so these are all part of the suite. This ribbon is also part of the suite. I wish you could actually feel it. It's so soft. And this journal is available from Stampin' Up! as well. This is the Pressed Petals journal. So um, it's a beautiful, beautiful journal inside, which you cannot see in the catalog how beautiful it is. Okay, but it's got lines, it's got images, it's got sayings. Look at that. This is a gorgeous journal that you could kind of create, give as a gift. Okay. Um, so you can decorate any way you want, but I thought I may as well show you how it was decorated um, using our product of the month here, the snowman season. Oh, thanks for the hearts, guys. I'm glad you liked it. So thanks for tuning in for this week's episode of Tuesday at 2 with Jen Stampin' for Fun. Um, don't hesitate to reach out and if you have any questions. And don't forget to place your order so that you get the tutorials. And if your order is $50 or more, you get this free class in the mail delivered to you. It'll be five different projects. So next week we'll see another project using the Snowman Season stamp set. And I uh, can't wait to catch up with you then. Okay, so let me flip it around and I'll say a proper goodbye and then uh, we'll uh, catch up. I'll see if I can read any of the comments. I know I still need to do the raffle prize. So don't forget if you just joined in, I think we do have more people joining in. Make sure you comment so that you can be entered in for the door prize. And uh, thanks so much, guys. So great to stand with you. We'll see you next week, Tuesday at 2 Eastern Standard. Bye. Have a great afternoon.